This episode is about the number 23 team on the Juggernaut Index, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Football is often described as the ultimate team game, but not in Jacksonville. The Jaguars are basically a one-man show. Pro Bowl running back Maurice Jones-Drew dominates the scoring and the non-scoring for Jack Del Rio's squad. MJD accounted for 16 of Jacksonville's 34 touchdowns last season. In 2008, he reached the end zone 14 times for an offense that scored 32 total touchdowns. Jones Drew ranked third in the league in touches last year with 365, fourth in scrimmage yards with 1,765, and he tied for second in touchdowns. He also finished second on his team in receptions in three of his four NFL seasons. Jacksonville's offense doesn't exactly light up the scoreboard, but Jones Drew gets an obscene share of the points and yardage. He's a top tier back, very close to Chris Johnson and Adrian Peterson in terms of projected value, and he's never missed an NFL game due to injury. Because he's such a durable back, Deji Kareem and Rashad Jennings aren't really worth rostering as handcuffs. If Jones Drew is selected number one overall in your draft, no reasonable owner will ridicule the pick. In fact, MJD is such a useful commodity in our game and such a skilled manager that he actually is hosting a weekly fantasy football show this season on SiriusXM. No lie. And in related news, Eric Carable will be gunning on kick coverage for the Eagles. Beyond Jones Drew, the Jaguars have one additional skill player who needs to be owned in all fantasy drafts, Mike Sims Walker a 25-year-old receiver coming off a breakout season. Injuries have been a recurring thing with MSW, with the occasional non-injury deactivation thrown in, but he led all Jacksonville wideouts in catches with 63, yards with 869, and TDs with 7 in 2009. He's also entering a contract year for those who care about such things. However, the Jaguars' passing game has not produced a 1,000-yard receiver since 2005 in Jimmy Smith. So don't go crazy with your Sims Walker forecast. He disappeared in the final six games of the season, too, averaging just 2.7 receptions and 29.2 yards per game while battling calf and knee issues. He's hardly a sure thing. If he manages to reach 80 catches and 1,100 yards in this offense, his name should go directly to the Ring of Honor. Those numbers won't be easy to achieve. Mike Thomas is the number two wide receiver in Jacksonville, though that designation doesn't mean much since Keenan and Cardell left town. Thomas is a T-cup wideout, 5'8", 195, who closed the 9 season with a pair of solid lines, uh, six receptions for 57 yards and seven receptions for 65 yards. And he'll clearly see an increase in targets this year. There's hope for him in deeper formats. Jarrett Dilliard is currently the number three, with Tequan Underwood and Troy Williamson chasing. Jacksonville tight ends aren't generally helpful for fantasy purposes. Neither Mercedes Lewis nor Zach Miller, the Jacksonville Zach Miller, cracked the Yahoo Top 20. Everyone should know what to expect from quarterback David Garrard by now. He's thrown just 30 touchdown passes in his last 32 games, and that rate won't pay the bills in fantasy. Garrard doesn't toss many picks, so you don't have to threat about negative plays. His main problem is lack of positive plays. He's a bi-week option, not an every-week starter. This team didn't draft a quarterback in 2010, and Luke McCown is second on the depth chart, so at least Garrard has job security. His ceiling is 16 touchdowns. His floor is 14 touchdowns. If that works in your league, then by all means, draft Garrard and join him responsibly. Before you ask, I can't take Garrard's 9 home road split seriously, because Jacksonville's home stadium is at best a neutral site. The, Jackson, the Jaguars' defense allowed 23.8 points and 352.3 total yards per game last season, ranking in the bottom third of the league in both categories. The pass rush was barely a rumor, as Jacksonville finished dead last in the NFL in total sacks with 14. This defense doesn't figure to have a viable option until perhaps week four at Buffalo. The interesting IDPs are linebacker Justin Durant with 94 tackles on 09 and a pair of new arrivals. Linebacker Kirk Morrison with 133 tackles and defensive end Aaron Campman with 9.5 sacks in 08. It's going to be useful in a 4-3. Surely that's all that needs to be said about this team. In your comments, please tell us about the time you benched James Stewart and his five touchdowns. 
or share your experience as a camp, as a camp counselor at the Mike Hollis Kicking Academy. Or make me an offer on that sweet 97 that Trone means. Perfect corners, ready for grading.